my goodness, they smell divine. Of course, you can't leave any place without some brass items, right? I mean, how can, how can you not buy brass? I'm not letting this go so you can go on down the road because I'm just not letting this go. Anyway. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Well, we made it. We're here at the Expo Center in Knoxville. We're here for Vintage Days. I am so excited. Today is Friday. It goes for three days. We're gonna feel it out today, see what we can find. I actually even bought a cart here for all my purchases. So let's head on in and see what we can find.
about you, about you all the time Looks like you're changing and all But why didn't you, why didn't you call? while we were shopping at the Vintage Days. So we did buy tickets for all three days of the event. We actually only went two days. We probably should have went the third day because that was the day that all the vendors tend to put their things on sale, uh, discount their prices to get it sold out so they don't have to pack it back up and move it on. So we probably should have gone back that third day. The reason we didn't is because we were watching some items from the first day we had decided to not purchase some of the bigger priced, bigger ticketed items that first day. So we went back the second day and they were already gone. So there really wasn't a reason for us to go back the third day, even to get a sales price on anything. We pretty much bought what we wanted to buy on that second day and said that was it. So that's why we didn't go back the third day. But. I can't wait to show you all my little treasures, so let's get into it. So the first item I'm going to show you is a little marble pinch pot. I have not owned one, and I was very excited to find this one. I really liked the detailing of it. It's a little foot that it sits on or rests on here, and then it has this sweet lid. And I just, I thought it was beautiful. It is marble, and we paid $18 for it. But like I said, I haven't had one, and so I'm very excited to start using this. This is something that's a, an everyday use kind of thing. Next, we did find a little vintage vendor and I found this really pretty little vintage vase. Let's see if you can get a good look at that with my face out of the picture. I just wanted something that was simple, that was this color, that I could just put um, a cute little single flower, maybe cut from the garden kind of thing in our new house. So I just, I thought this was absolutely beautiful. It was a higher priced item. This was $24 for this face, but again, it is vintage and I loved it. I loved the color. So I purchased that. And then next we were in this little eclectic vendor that had just really interesting, whimsical things. And I guess she goes to Germany a lot. And so a lot of her things were from Germany. And I found this really sweet little vintage box. And I absolutely loved it. It has these little flowers, little roses all over it. It's got a little metal um, lock and little metal uh, hinges on the back. And I just thought it was so beautiful. It's velvet lined with this chocolate velvet inside. 
and like I said, it came from Germany and I just, I thought it was so pretty. I, I wanna have little vintage pieces to just add with the newer things just to make it look more eclectic and I don't know, more homey. And I just, I thought this was something really fun. So I, I, I loved it and I had to have it. So anyway, like I said, this is from Germany and what else can I say? It's cute, I love it. So one of the actual first vendors on the second day that we stumbled upon had all these wooden things, wooden bowls, wooden uh, platters, wooden, you name it, it was made out of wood. And we, there was this big barrel that there was just a bunch of wood pieces inside of it. And so we were digging through it and come to find out, she said that this man here locally to the area in Tennessee um, he carves a lot of things out of wood, but he doesn't go and cut down trees. He actually goes and forages for things that have fallen off the trees or fallen trees, you know, things that are already on the ground. And then he makes things out of them. And the first thing I picked up was this sweet little wooden bowl and his little, his name is on the back and it's he carved in the year of 91. So this bowl was made in 1991, but it's just what he did with the wood. It's beautiful. It is so, so pretty. And I don't know, these kinds of things, and, and these were really inexpensive. I wanna say this was $2, but it, the value of it for me is in the fact that this gentleman loved doing woodworking and he made things with his own two hands and I just I don't know things like that speak to me so I bought this bowl and then I also picked up from the same vendor and it's the same gentleman he um he has his this one was also made in 91 but look at this it's I like a I like a dish um maybe use it as a trinket dish or a soap dish in a bathroom or I don't you can use it for a lot of different things but just Look at how pretty it is. And again, it was made out of an old tree and it's actually, you know, got little holes in the wood because the tree, you know, it was unique. So again, I just, I thought this was so beautiful and I can't wait to style with it in my new home. And of course you can't leave any place without some brass items, right? I mean, okay. How can you not buy brass? So the next few items are brass items. And the first one, I actually saw the very first day we were there, but I didn't buy it. The second day I came back, went through the vendor's little area and it was still sitting there, this item. And I said, you know what? You're, you're meant to be mine. So I bought it. And it's this sweet brass bell. Look at how pretty. And look at the little handle or the top. It's just so sweet. I love it. I just love it. So it was $5. I don't know if you can see that. It was $5. I just loved the sound of it and I I just thought it was sweet and special and I'm gonna put it in the library. I know I've been buying a lot of things for this so-called library um, in this new house of ours that's not built yet. But I, I just, I saw this on a shelf. It doesn't even have to be in the library. I could, I could put this in the living room on a shelf or anywhere, actually. It's just, I don't know. It, it just, it kind of reached out and grabbed me. So I, I bought it and I love it. Okay, and the next couple of items, again, are brass items. And I told myself I didn't need any more candlesticks, but I, uh, Candlesticks might be another weakness of mine, but <laughs> these were so pretty and I really just couldn't pass them up. And then this is the other one. They're both different, they're both unique, and I just, I thought they were very, very pretty. And the color of them, you know, the, the more aged they are, to me, the better they are. So I don't, I don't want to clean these up. I don't want them shiny. I want them old and aged looking. And I, I loved these. So I did pick up two candlesticks. And then the vendors that, like I said, like the gentleman who made the wood bowls, um, there was other vendors that, you know, made wares and things that they were selling. And one of them was a candle and soap. 
company. Um, and she was um, out of, I wanna say South Carolina. I'll have to find her card. Oh, here it is, it's on the back of this soap. Yes, it is South Carolina. Her company name is Inglenook and Company. So I ended up buying two bars of soap and oh my goodness, they smell divine. This one is oatmeal and honey. And she has all the ingredients on the back. And oh my goodness, this smells so good. And then this one is called Naughty or Nice. So it has a really, let's see if I can get it to focus. It has a really pretty subtle, very subtle scent of um, almost fur, I guess you would say. So it has almost like a Christmas smell, but not quite, it's, it's unique. But anyway, I loved the colors of the both of them. This is kind of a gray green color. And then this one obviously is like an oatmeal um, beige, warm beige color. So the two of those, and I love them. I will be buying, I love soap like this. I love to use soap like this, especially in my, uh, in my bath. So I will be buying more of these from her. I, she had so many different scents, so many different um, options. And so I, I will definitely be buying more. And like I said, she's in South Carolina. And again, it's Ingle Nook and Company. But I didn't just stop there. I did buy, um, she also has candles. So I bought this one and it's Bourbon Apple. And oh my goodness, you guys, this thing smells delicious. I'm a sucker for anything with an apple fragrance to it. There's just something, you bake an apple pie and it just smells so, so good. And this bourbon apple, it reminds me of fall. And so I'm, that's kind of what I bought it for is the fall season. So I'm very, very, very excited to burn this. It smells absolutely amazing. And again, I love supporting um, companies, small businesses like this, that um, you know they're they're selling their wares, they're doing what they love to do, and and so I definitely love supporting small businesses like this. And again, Inglenook and Company. And this one's called Waxworks, and then and she had the soaps. So very very nice lady, and enjoyed visiting with her too. Okay. I'm moving on. Go also, so since we're on the subject of um, small businesses, there was this sweet, sweet lady. I do not know her first name, but her um, company name is Mountain Mama Pottery. And she had the most fabulous pottery and she was so, so cute, so sweet. I fell in love with her work and again this is all handmade so no two things are alike because she makes them with her two hands with love these mugs are everything everything do you see the handle on these you know when you buy a a coffee mug you you can't get all your fingers in there this this is meant for <laughs> or holding on to. She has made the most perfect handle for these mugs. I love it. I loved the freckled little peppering uh, texture that she put on it. Um, it's, it's ridged. They've got just a sweet little shape to them and then they've got the natural bottom. So we did buy two of these, one for me, one for Corey. And like I said, no two are alike just fabulous i cannot say enough and she's signed them i don't think you could probably see that but she signed them and again mountain mama pottery she's out of i think it's johnson city here in tennessee love 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 these mugs i cannot say enough they are probably my favorite things to drink out of now so I did get those, Let me get those out of the way so I don't break them. Okay, so on the first day I found this item. Again, it's, it's like the bell. It was still there when I went back on the second day and I thought, well, you know what? It, it's, it's supposed to be mine. And I don't know why I even passed it up the first day. I had it in my hand and I, was, I don't know, but I was an idiot and thank goodness it was still there because I adore it. It's not even, 
It's not even home decor. It's actually something for me. It is this absolutely darling wicker basket purse. Can you see this? Can you see? Look at the handles. They're like a little bamboo handle. And it's oval shaped. I don't know if you can see that. It's oval shaped. And it's wider at the top and narrows down at the bottom. It's got metal clasp and metal hinging. And you guys, this thing is so cute. I can't. Um, let's see if I can get it open. There's a little trick to this little latch right here. Definitely uh, theft proof. But look at it inside. It is so un believably cute. I cannot stand it. I can't not stand how cute this is. And I feel so fortunate and lucky that it was still there and that it is now mine. I've got to be careful because I do think that this might be a vintage piece. Uh, nowhere on here does it make me think that this isn't vintage. So um, anyway, it is a wicker purse bag and I paid $32 for this sweet little wicker basket purse and um very excited to give it a home so very excited this was one of my most exciting finds right here just absolutely adore it with everything it is so, so moving on okay and so i was in um another little shop that this lovely lady made um pillows and um, a lot of little artsy things. And I did buy a t-shirt and a pillow from her. Um, I'm not gonna, I don't, I don't have them here to show you. Uh, they're 4th of July um, things. But I did find, and I believe this is made out of concrete because it's, it looks like it's made out of concrete, but it looks like those paper mache bowls that everyone has been buying. And I absolutely loved it. You would have seen this showcased in our backyard makeover. I had um, some limes sitting in this pretty little bowl on my table and I just thought it was so pretty and you can see on the inside, I, like I said, it's, it's very, very heavy. So I do believe it's made out of some kind of concrete or um, I don't even know. I don't know what it's made of. I think it's concrete. And I paid, I want to say $20 for this, which I thought was a good price for what it is and the solidness of it. So I was very excited to find this and I, I think it's beautiful. And I am I can think of all kinds of wonderful things to do with this. So I did pick up that. And then another piece that you would have seen in our backyard makeover is this beautiful blue bowl and I absolutely love it. Look at the ridges. Look at this. These farmhouse um, bowls I have been eyeing for a while and I just, I was, when we were in Rhode Island, I was looking at a few but they were just, um, they were expensive. They were like 65, 85, and I paid, I think I scratched the thing off of this one, but I think this one was $20 or 25 maybe at the most, but it's beautiful. I love it. And um, like I said, I'm, I'm bringing more blue into my new kitchen when I get that built. And then I also found it from the same vendor and it's the, I have his sticker on this one. The Farm at Tumbling Shoals is the name of the vendor. And this bowl, has the pretty blue striping and the brown striping and it has really pretty detail now i did see this one and this has the crest um if you can see that uh I, this is one of the ones that i did see at the rhode island um antique mall and it was the six or the 85 dollar bowl and i paid 35 dollars for this one so I happened upon this one vendor and these ladies in there were so much fun. I had a blast just chit-chatting with them. And anyway, I have been looking for very sculptural 
the kind of modern uh, pieces to add to my decor for our new house. And they had the prettiest piece, this piece right here. And I'm going to tell you, I have seen these online and there's one from Burke and Decor that had this for $212. It was, it's not this exact piece, but it's very, very similar for $212. Pottery Barn also has a sculptural piece like this. I paid $30. Very excited about this piece. I can see it sitting on maybe an entry table, um, just a coffee table, on a, on a shelf, on a book. Um, there's so many things that I could do with this, but like I said, I have just been looking for something sculptural, a little more on the modern side to just add in with my uh, more traditional pieces, my traditional decor. I feel like this was a really good, good price and I'm very excited about it. I can't wait to decorate with that in my new home. And then I'm gonna save one thing for the very, very last because it's something that we have been diligently looking for and I can't believe we found it at Vintage Days. But I will also show you another piece here that I used in my um, styling with our, oh, those are my cups. The styling in our backyard makeover. And it's this wooden tray. I absolutely love this thing. And in fact, I had ladies like, almost fighting me for this. It was crazy. So it's basically an old piece of wood and it's got like a live edge to it, which makes it very unique. And the um, wrought iron handles that they attached onto it. So it is a legit piece of wood. It is, <laughs> this is not something that was um, manufactured in any way, shape or form. They had a smaller one too, but I guess it had gotten sold before I got there. But I put this, I had a little cart, a little basket that we had bought. Um, you saw that at the beginning of the video. And I had it sitting on there. And every time I would turn a corner, someone would comment on this because it was sitting on top. And they're like, where did you get that? Where did you get that? <laughs> it's like it was the last one. And um, it, it was crazy. It really was crazy that so many people were drawn to this. But I love it. And um, you would have seen this on my tablescape. I had put a bottle of wine with some candlesticks and our wine glasses. I also had our pitcher with our lemons and some glasses. So this can be used in the house with just some decor pieces on it. Um, you can use it for entertaining like I um, had done. It, there are so many things that you can do with this and I just thought it was simply beautiful. And I want to say I paid $35 for this, which I thought was really really good and like i said i had my hand on it and i was kind of looking at it and this lady walked up and she, i could tell she was like just waiting for me to let go of it and I was like i'm not letting this go so you can go on down the row because i'm just not letting this go anyway um probably one of my more favorite finds definitely i i love it i i love it to death it's just so pretty and really amazing and I can't wait to get more use out of it. So the last item I'm going to share with you is very, very special because we have been on the hunt for this and I cannot believe that we actually found it at Vintage Days. But it is a soup ladle for our precious soup tureen that we bought um, at one of our antique um, shopping trips and I loved it. It was tucked away with one other ladle, just kind of hidden almost and this little part of it was sticking out and it caught my eye and I turned around and I said, oh my goodness, I think it is perfect. Because we've been struggling to find one that we think is the proper size because our soup terrain is not overly large and we've everything that we've been finding that was silver were just, they were massive and long and they just wouldn't work. I, I think this is the right size, I do. I, I don't think we would want anything smaller or bigger. I think it's just, I think it's just right. So very excited. 
and so that's, that's it that's all my finds we had such a blast going through vintage days and again there were many many other things that i would have loved to have bought but again they're they're not vintage they were not antique they weren't one of a kind and i know that i can get them later so they weren't really something that i needed to snatch up right this second um, but we had a blast and we really enjoyed our two days going through uh, all the treasures and I hope you enjoyed watching this video if You haven't already subscribed. Please consider doing so and if you're new here. Welcome Please stick with us. We have a lot of content to offer you and thank you guys for being here We appreciate you so very much and I'll see you soon. Bye Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy but things are finally right with you and I the future